Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today we are on Lake Wiley, put in at the Ebenezer Park access area. The plan for today was, I was supposed to meet my buddy out here. However, we've had some crazy weather. Um, and he's not gonna be able to make it because uh, he's, he's gonna be a little bit more cautious than me because we got like 30 mile an hour wind gusts. Um, all last week we had like 80 degree weather and then over the weekend it has just been raining relentlessly for like three days and it's like barely breaking like today i don't think it's going to break 50 degrees so not ideal conditions to say the least but had the day off figure i might as well uh wet a line maybe we can make something happen let's get to it little guy out a little deeper than I was expecting but I guess I should have expected it being as cold as it is look at that all right it's always nice to get the skunk out of the boat let's get him back in the water and now it's time for tackle roundup all right guys uh the bite has been pretty finicky uh by finicky i mean that is the only bite that i've gotten all day um i mean right now it's you know spawn they should be up shallow but i guess that weather really got them messed up and that fish was i mean it was about 12 foot of water was out you know deeper and that, that looked like a female so it looks like they're they're moving out a little bit deeper than what they normally or uh what they're supposed to be doing um but yeah what i caught that fish on was just a drop shot on this and i'm out of them uh i only had like two left and they went through both of them uh it's a robo worm straight tail and the color is um ox blood red flake uh was the color so um again it's uh really tough conditions i mean just really really cold and very very windy and uh it's just just tough uh, i don't i don't know any other way to describe it it's just tough but got a bite got one fish in the boat skunk is out of the boat which is awesome uh maybe we can get another fish or two but that's enough of me talking and that concludes today's <laughs> tackle roundup
that's a long spot. Look at him. That ain't a bad little fish there. Heck yeah. Well, I was hoping I would be able to fish up shallow, but that has not been the case. Caught this guy in about 14 foot of water, like out in the middle of nowhere, but glad I found him. Let's get him back in the water. Well guys, I think I am gonna call it a day. Man, this is some tough fishing for April. I mean, April should be, I mean, they should be jumping in the boat. Um, I have not found that to be the case. Uh, today was uh, very tough, very cold, very windy. I mean, just very tough conditions. Um, was able to get two in the boat. Uh, they were both out deep. I mean, like 12, 14 foot of water. Um, man yeah i was i was hoping for a big shallow bite but i mean the the temperature dropped down it's uh i mean the the water temp is like 60 degrees it's like 58 in the shallows i mean it's really really dropped so i think they uh they've all ducked back um but yeah and i did hook up with that giant catfish that was big catfish and i still don't quite understand what happened he got it and ran with it i got the hook set in him but he was like, I don't know if he was like tangled up in fishing line that was like down below the water line because I had him up and I could see him just below the surface and he wasn't moving. I mean, he was just hanging out there and I couldn't budge him. Um, I think it was like wrapped up around like, you know, some old fishing line or something. Um, that's unfortunate. That would have been cool to get that fish in the boat. But uh, yeah, he uh, broke me off and uh, got away. But that's how it is sometimes. Anyways. If you'd like to know anything about what I did today, the lures, the launch, or anything else, you can look down in the description box. I'm gonna leave some additional information down there. But while you're there, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. The channel, it is updated every week. 
with new fishing content and new fishing adventures. So, I'll be seeing you next week. This is Josh, and this is Abide Fishing.